Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Gemini's, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you have not subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can get notified as soon as these videos go up. Okay, let's get into your reading. We're going to start with the Oracle cards and then we'll get into the Tarot. So let's see what Spirit has for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in regards to love and romance. Now your first card here is Happy Family. First Chakra, Archangel Michael, Michael, sorry, <clears throat> and Action. Okay. So let's see what the messages are. Okay, I see a lot of you Geminis dealing with family or the family dynamic being around loved ones. It could be because of the holidays. It could be because you're visiting or it could be because you guys are currently going through some type of healing. Um, so what I'm hearing is for some of you guys, it, there could be an anniversary coming up of a family or relative, someone that has passed on. For others of you, it could just be that there is growth, expansion in the family. Um, there could have been some type of birth, uh, some type of new beginning. Um, some of you guys dealing with people around you that are getting married, that are having kids, that type of energy. I do see very um, spirits around you guys. This could be family members that have passed on, friends that are no longer here with us. Um, they're definitely embracing and knowing or seeing these new beginnings in your life and they are there they are present uh, so just acknowledge them now you also have the action card here i feel that for some of you guys there is a situation that you could be dealing with where there's uncertainty um for some of you guys not knowing how to take the next steps or what to do with those situations that are coming up or that are going to be coming up for the remaining of the month of january here we're going to get into the tarot and see if we can get more clarity in that. Now, these are your partner's cards here. The King of Coins, Six of Cups, and the Queen of Swords. How you're viewing the situation or the partner, King of Swords, the Eight of Swords, and the Judgment card. Okay, so <clears throat> I see Earth Energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. I also see Water Energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Air Energy, Fire. I see pretty much all the signs here. Now, how your partner is viewing the situation with the King of Coins, um, I see them really like being the glue, uh, being the glue in the relationship or in this dynamic. Um, I do see kids or children involved here. Uh, you could be dealing with the situation where you feel um that at the present time there's a lot of uncertainties there's been um, a lot of endings that you've been experiencing whether this is again like i said um endings of relationships or connections um <clears throat> or new beginnings as well uh new births i see a lot of like birthing a lot of uh, you know with the six of cups children being very involved or you could be dealing with um, being having children around, even if you don't have children yourself. This could be your nephews, your nieces, that type of energy. Now, with the King of Coins, I see the partner really trying to become almost like your like your emotional support here with the Six of Cups here as well being present. It's almost like, and again, I'm hearing like the glue of the dynamic. So it could be that, you may be dealing with like emotional turmoil or getting moments where you get overly emotional and they're trying to be supportive. They're trying to be understanding, uh, perhaps getting guidance from them. Um, really having deep conversations is what I'm seeing here. Uh, with the Queen of Swords, they may see you a little bit distant or they may be a bit worried that you're very much in your head, Gemini. Um, and this could represent almost kind of like when we have a lot of things going on in our life, um, especially because you are an air energy, uh, you're overly thinking or very much in your thoughts. And you can be giving off this energy of being very standoffish. Uh, and the partner is trying to be there and trying to be supportive. But at the same time, I feel that they kind of feel like you are either ignoring ignoring them or trying to push them away it's like the more they're trying to be there emotionally um the more they're trying to emotionally support you 
the more you kind of create this distance. And it's not that you're coming from like a bad place. I feel that it's just that you're in your head. But that's how they're viewing you. They're viewing you as a bit standoffish, a bit cold or distant. Um, with the king of swords here, you have the queen and king. So we're definitely talking about a partnership or a relationship that um, is ideal uh, for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship. Um, when we have two suits, sorry, two, uh, uh, two king and queen of the same suit, this is indicating a very strong connection. Uh, with the eight of swords, um, definitely being or feeling very restricted, feeling like um, there is this cycle that is coming to an end. And with this cycle, sometimes, unfortunately, we could be dealing with, uh, again, almost a feeling of like you're trying to push through, you're trying to move forward. But there's also this feeling of like, when is the, you know, fighting or when is the pushing going to come to an end? When do I finally see stability, whether it be on an emotional level or whether it be on finances? But you do have the judgment card here as well. So with the Eight of Swords and the Judgment, I feel that there is a decision that you're making in regards to um, something that is very connected or that will impact your partnership or your relationship. Uh, this is, I'm almost hearing like judgment is a representation of, you know, having to deal with certain things from the past that may come up. Um for some of you guys, this could be connected to, again, children, or it could be connected to, um, it could be connected to past uh, traumas, past um, experiences in the past from early childhood. Um, and I feel that there is a lot of healing that's happening. For some of you guys, it could be almost the scenario of uh, Getting to the point of trying to understand why your partner seeing you as standoffish or a bit distant or cold. Um, and then you're looking back or you find yourself looking back to the past. And there is a lot of memories about childhood or what you went through that created this energy within you that when you're going through difficulties, it's like you kind of feel like you have to face them alone or like you're so used to or you were taught to deal with them the best way you possibly could as a child. Um, and now it, it, it's difficult for you to allow people to see your vulnerability or to allow them to see um, to see you weak because it's kind of like what, I, what I'm hearing is like I'd rather, you know, I'd rather pull my energy away from, you know, being around family and friends and just, walk into my room and be with my thoughts. I don't want to affect, you know, their environment or their energy. So it's almost like a feeling like when you're going through difficulties in life, you have a tendency of having the burden or feeling that you have the burden to have to deal with those on your own. And what your partner's trying to do is just be supportive and be there, uh, nurturing or loving. And perhaps it's something that is challenging you right now because you don't know how to deal with that or you don't know how to allow them to see that side to you, that vulnerable side. Um, now, for those of you guys that are currently single, I do see that there is a person from your past that perhaps you still um, were dealing with or still communicating or randomly like uh, messaging on social media, that type of energy. I see them... It's almost like they give you this energy of they're still interested, but they don't completely take action. And the reason for that is because they are very guarded. They are, um, for some of them, it could be that there's only these moments of like reminiscing about the past. They miss the past and that's when they reach out. But what Spirit is telling you here with the King of Swords, um, there is almost like, if you can see here, the Queen and the king, let me show you. So it's like the queen is, you know, communicating, um, extending, extending their hand, but at the same time, they're still guarded with this sword. 
and the king of swords is looking towards the queen of swords and you also have here oh, sorry up here um the bird uh which is a signifier of thoughts of ideas of memories and i feel that for a lot of you gemini's those of you guys that are single i feel that you continuously keep allowing this person to come into your life because you feel like you know, if they're still reaching out, if they're still trying to communicate, it must mean that they're wanting to restart or give us, give us another opportunity. And by you doing that with the Eight of Swords here, it's keeping you stuck. It's keeping you in the same energy that you've had ever since there was that separation or that uh, disconnect. Uh, with the Eight of Swords, it's feeling restricted. It's not being able to move forward or not being able to move towards new beginnings because you're choosing uh, to keep the door open to the past. Now, with the Judgment, there is a need for you to make a decision to give you a different outcome. And again, if this is something that you've been dealing for quite a while, that's not very good. Now we have here the Ace of Swords and the Nine of Cups, and this is the energy of the person that you're dealing with. Your cards here is the Hanged Man and the Ace of Cups. So with the Ace of Swords, it's um, being transparent, being honest. This is communication. Uh, Nine of Cups, there is still some type of hope that they're holding on to, but I still see them like either trying to test the waters or wanting to see if you've in fact have moved on or if you've in fact have you know started a new connection with someone else um you're coming up with the hanged man and the ace of cups so it's like you're not making any moves or you're not choosing um to remove yourself from the past and you're not fully able to embrace a new beginning that's coming towards you with these ace of cup here under the judgment card now, for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, I feel that they definitely do understand. We go back to the conversation about uh, them feeling like you're a bit standoffish. They do understand and they acknowledge um, that perhaps this is a trait or something you have a tendency of doing whenever you're stressed or you're dealing with a uh, heavy type of energy. And the Nine of Cups is just them being or offering you uh, their cups, offering you their emotions, offering you their understanding. Um, unconditional love is uh, very present here for those of you guys that are in a long-term relationship. With the Hanged Man and the Ace of Cups, you need to learn to see things from a very different perspective. And being open or emotionally vulnerable doesn't make you weak. It doesn't make you... Uh, it doesn't make the person that you're dealing with see you any less than what you are. If anything, it's showing you who it's showing them who you really are and them learning to love every single aspect of you. Now, for those of you guys that are single, like I said, I do see a new beginning coming towards you um, with this past energy. Um, you could have been dealing with an earth energy. I do see an air energy coming through. It could be an Aquarius, a Gemini or a Libra, a Gemini like yourself or a Libra. Um, but what they're telling me here is, you know, um, there is more than, I see a lot of possibilities around you, Gemini, for those of you guys that are single, but I feel that you've kind of, you've missed certain opportunities or you've chosen to not give opportunities to those that you know are interested in you only because I see you either still clinging on to the past or still healing from the past. But what they're telling you here, it's time for you to take action. It's time for you to uh, step away from the energy that you've been dealing with for the past couple of months. It could be that you were holding on to uh, perhaps how you felt you were treated in your last relationship. It could have been that you were doing some self-healing yourself, uh, love type of work within yourself. But now it's time for you to take action. Now it's time for you to get out of that funk and to be able to embrace or look towards the future when we're talking about relationships, okay? All right, my lovelies, I hope that this gave you some type of insight. I hope you guys enjoyed, like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.